Hello friends, this is Victor and the Psalter with a short video update. I'm sorry I haven't been posting my daily psalm songs lately. As you know, being a lay person in the world is full of many unexpected circumstances and situations, and so <clears throat> I haven't really had the time to compose or write any new melodies lately. But I have spent quite a deal of time battling the demon and by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit has been very good at fortifying me against the demon through the prayer of the Holy Rosary and, of course, through the constant prayer of the Psalter. I have totally fallen in love with this pocket Psalter. I don't know if you picked one up yet. It's put out by Rose Publishing. And if you've seen my last video, there's a link to get your copy. It's only about $3.95, $3.40. Basically, the cost of an Americano coffee is what you pay for the very um, words of the Holy Spirit directed to us so we can direct our words to God. And I just can't get enough of it um, because, yes, I pray the liturgy of the hours, but because there are fixed hours at which you're supposed to pray the different uh, canonical hours, it's difficult to always keep that consistent if you're trying to raise a family and hold down, I'm currently holding down three jobs to make ends meet. But, um, so I do still pray the liturgy of the hours, but because of that, I don't always get a chance to pray all seven hours like I would like to. So that's where there's just a simple book of thought, Psalms comes in pretty handy. And so... The advantage of just praying the Psalms in and of themselves without any particular schedule is that when you have more time, you pray more Psalms, or you meditate on a particular verse or Psalm for a longer period of time. So the way, the way life has been going lately, I'm lucky if I get maybe one verse here, and then I'll get a few Psalms in there, but the point is I'm constant. anytime I have a moment, I take this out of my pocket and I start praying. Um, one thing I've been doing also lately is praying the Watcher Psalter, which I published a while ago. But I've cur I recently um, even uh, I've upped the ante in a sense because the the Book of Psalms is actually divided into five books, and each of those five books deals with a particular theme in salvation history. They parallel the Pentateuch. They parallel Genesis. Um, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. If you read them closely enough, this is what the the early fathers thought. This is what the desert, desert fathers thought. One day I'm going to do a whole series just on on that, but I need to do a lot more research. But um, one thing about this channel is that I, uh, the, the direction I'm really trying to go now is just um, uh, the musical element of the Psalms, but also the theological, the, the mystical, the 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 salvific element of the Psalms. Um, so, what, what, what I'm proposing is um, basically because this, the, the, the book of Psalms is divided into four books, is uh, what you can do is, uh, let's just say it's Monday. On Monday, you focus on the Psalms from book one. On Tuesday, you focus on the Psalms from book two. It doesn't mean you have to pray all of them. But what that does is that it keeps you in a certain rhythm and cycle, so you're not left just flipping around wondering what to read. So if you want a very simple prayer schedule for praying the Psalms, you can always go that route. I feel that maybe the Watcher Psalter that I put out a while ago, it's, it needs some revision because theologically it should be the five books. Uh, what I may end up doing is revising it so that instead of, say, 25 here, 25 there, 25 there, it'll be book 1, book 2, book 3, book 4, book 5 of the Psalter. And then what you do is you just simply um, pray as many as you can on that day, on the assigned day. So, th so keep an eye out for the Revised Watcher's Psalter where I will... Uh, up the ante for this movement that I call 
uh, watchers for the Son of Man. If you're if this is your first video on my channel, I'm trying to start a, a Christian movement called Watchers for the Son of Man, and it's a very simple, very simple uh, obligation. It's a very simple thing to do. There's no no strings attached, nothing to sign. Um, but if you're a baptized Christian, I would encourage you to be a part of this movement simply by praying the Psalms as much as you can in a spirit of keeping vigil, in a spirit of vigil uh, for the coming of Christ, because we want to prepare ourselves for when he returns. And I'm not saying he's coming today or tomorrow. We don't know. But the point is, if you keep vigil, then everything that life throws at, throws at you will not affect you. Because you know that no matter what goes down, you lose your house, you lose your job, you're on the streets with your family, you know that in the end, Christ has the final word. And that's what the Psalms teach us. In the laments, in the, in all the Psalms, except for Psalm 88, of course, but that's why the, the book of Psalms is an entire opus, because you take the despair of Psalm 88, and it results in the glory and praise of the, la the later Psalms. So, to be a part of the, the movement that I'm, in, um, I'm promoting here, Watchers for the Son of Man, it, you simply have to have, uh, have a copy of the Psalms. I personally prefer to keep this pocket copy. It's the Revised American Standard Version, so the language is very clear, direct, and um, the translations aren't too bad. Um, I like how they use Son of Man a lot in the translations, which is closer to the Hebrew. So, um, yeah, just keeping the Psalms with you, and then uh, when you can, throughout your day, instead of playing with your phone, you pray the Psalms, but meditatively and as if you're communicating with God himself. These are the words that God gave us to communicate with him, because we often don't know how to articulate, so the Spirit gives us utterances here in the Psalms as well as the silent, inutterable utter utterances that he gives us. So, there is something happening, something happening in this century in the church. The wind, is, the wind of the Spirit is blowing, and I've never felt so sure about something. I've been involved in many projects in my short lifespan so far. I'm 48, 48 now, just turned 48, and... I've never felt so enthused or so passionate about anything until now. Because something needs to change in this world. Unless people turn back to God, just the way they did at Nineveh, when Jonah proclaimed the word to them, you know, we're, we're headed for some difficult, very difficult challenges. And um, now is the time to to minimize the distractions from the world and maximize our devotion to God in his holy psalter, uh, to maximize our worship and our repentance. So uh, within the week, I will republish uh, the revised Watcher's Psalter with the changes I've made in the prayer schedule and basically to be a member of this movement you simply have to adopt this prayer schedule and again it doesn't mean you have to pray all 42 psalms of book one in the psalter it doesn't mean you have to pray um, all psalms from 43 to 72 in book two of the psalms but what it, but if you have the time and the spirit moves you then at least you know how to pray and what to pray uh, there's no excuse for not praying at all. And it's even better when you can have people join you, maybe your, your wife and kids. Um, I myself, I'm trying my hardest not to turn the faith into a chore for my children. I don't want them to feel like if they don't pray when I ask them to, that they're punished or there's something wrong with them. Because it took me a good 20 years of living to realize how much I needed prayer. It took me that long. And I'm just happy at the fact that my sons even know 
how to make the sign of the cross and how to pray in our Father by memory. Um, so it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality. But if you can combine the quantity and the quality, your life will be transformed. So I've kind of rambled on here. So in summary, the point of this video is to announce that, yes, I'm going to continue putting out um, melodic settings of psalm verses that I call psalm songs. But I'm also going to revise the Watcher's Psalter so that it, it matches the layout of or the structure of the book of psalms it'll match the five book structure of the book of psalms because there is a theological reason for that there is a, a theological reason for that and so if you can do that divide it up between monday and friday that's five books of psalms already and then on the my plan for saturday and sunday is to begin praying all 150 psalms on saturday and finishing the entire Psalter by sometime in the middle of Monday morning. Um, but that, again, it's not obligatory. It is not required to be a part of the movement. To be a part of the movement of uh, the Watchers for the Son of Man, simply pick a psalm verse. Min minim the minimum requirement would be that you're at least trying to pray um, at least a verse of the psalms a day. You know, It's not that, that demanding and that you're you're actively keeping vigil for the Son of Man, that you're actively living out your faith by uh, attending Mass and uh, living a life of grace, in the state of grace. So there's nothing really revolutionary about what I'm offering here. It's just, I, I personally I like structure. And so what I'm offering here is a very simple structure to lead a a biblical, a biblically based uh, spiritual life in the world. This is specifically geared towards lay people um, who whose lives are unpredictable and demanding, but in such a way that we live like the early Christians. The early Christians, the laity, they they when when they weren't working they were worshiping it says so in the book of acts that they were constantly in the temple area praising god so when they weren't working they were praising god and how did they praise god they praised god with the psalms they didn't have the um, litanies they didn't have the rosary and again i have no problem with the rosary it's it's the the other prayer that i, I usually do um, but all of the all christian devotion must stem and does stem uh, from the book of Psalms in some way, shape, or form. So I think I'm going to be quiet now and um, just say thank you to those who have been watching my videos. I hope that you you haven't lost the Christmas spirit. Um, it's always a difficult time after the it's always a difficult time after the Christmas season to let go of the magic of Christmas. But then I realized that the whole message of Christmas is that Christ was incarnate. He is risen. He gave us the Holy Spirit. But that we can be that incarnation if we live an active prayer life. And this, the Psalms are the way to go. The Psalms are the way to go to live that incarnate, to let Christ be incarnate within us uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Then even... even taking your sick child to the emergency room becomes a form of mission work. Then even washing the dishes becomes a form of mission work. Then getting up early in the morning when you wish you could just spend another 10 minutes in bed becomes mission work. So keep me in prayer though. Just because I say it doesn't mean it's easy for me. So that's all I have to say. This is my update. And I thank you again for your prayers. And please do keep me in your prayers and continue to pray the psalms expect the revised watcher psalter to be released sometime um i want to say next weekend but we'll see what happens this week god bless